today we are going to discuss on the seventh house the seventh house is said to be the house of spouse um we have all born because of our past karma to discharge uh, three debts one to the rishis by study one to the devas by sacrifices and to the pitrus by birth of uh, children and then we can turn towards salvation so we are supposed to discharge these debts the first five bhavas refers to the discharge to the debts uh, to rishis and the seventh bhava is uh, the debts of the pitrus so the effects of seventh bhava as per the saravali is by investigating the seventh bhava details about a battlefield merchandise married life conjugal bliss and travel can be found out um other things like marriage wife husband um milk sperm expenditure uh, sexuality attainments kidney troubles thefts etc can be prevented so if seventh bhava happens to be aries then the spouse would be cruel fickle minded sinful greedy raised by evil forces and beggarly now with the help of the pitrus the seventh bhava happens to be taurus then the person is soft spoken humble gentle chaste of good character timid and respectable to brahmins and gods and if it is gemini if the seventh bhava is gemini uh, then she brings a spouse who is rich well behaved beautiful possesses all kinds of qualities and mild manner if it is seventh bhava happens to be cancer then uh, the wife will be pleasing good natured prosperous bereft of defects lucky and blessed if the seventh bhava happens to be leo the person gets a wife who is bold fickle uh laughing uh, visiting friends uh, horse voiced and with very few children if virgo happens to be the seventh house then the spouse will be beautiful timid blessed with wealth happiness and prosperity he would be loving honest and smart but childless uh if the seventh bhava happens to be libra then the wife one gets will be stout pious devout charitable of varied character and blessed with many children if it is scorpio then the person will get wives who are miserly lazy unloving and defective character if it is sagittarius then ignorant harsh bereft of devotion or rules and regulation and if it is capricorn then the wife of the person will have false piety but chaste prosperous and of good character if the um sign happens to be aquarius if the seventh bhava happens to be aquarius the person the spouse is very dutiful uh, steady pious devoted to gods and brahmins and charitable minded if it is pisces then the person is ugly evil minded bereft of dharma love and character and quarrelsome and have children equally bad so this is the result of uh, the seventh house being various signs so in our next topic let's see the other important things about seventh house thank you